Hello, my name's Miss Shortland. I am the Head of Religious Studies here at SFX. So why study religious studies at A level? Well, there's a number of reasons for me. It's about people. It's about how different people view different things and how they think about things, how they've come to those opinions. It's about you forming your own opinion on big issues. It's about how you interact with other people. Um, and that's a really important skill to have, especially in today's um, world and climate. Other skills that you will develop in religious studies are critical thinking um, and research skills, independent research skills. These are vital skills for your, your university, whatever subject that you choose to do in the future and whatever job that you choose to do in the future. So these are highly um, valued by employers and by universities, therefore RS is a very important subject to be taking for universities. Um, whatever subject you want to do. Religious studies will give you access to all sorts of careers and courses. Um, for example, in the past we have had students go on to do medicine at university um, from doing RS and sciences. Um, we've also had students in the past go on to do um, a whole range of subjects such as sociology, international politics um, and law. And this year we have um, students going on to do law and going on to Oxford, applying to Oxford to study um, philosophy and classical civilization. So there's a whole range of subjects that will be open to you as an RS student. The RS course is split into three different papers. So the exam is three papers and they are two hours each. On the philosophy paper, we look at big questions such as are we really here, are we real, what does it mean to say that you are you, what makes you you, will you live on after you die and what might that look like. Um, we also ask questions about um, the language that we use and how we express our world views. So the philosophy paper starts with Plato and Aristotle in ancient Greece and takes us right through to modern day philosophers um, and all different points of view on very big important subjects and which you will get to debate with your classmates and form your own opinion on. We then move on to the religion and ethics paper, which is, is quite a different paper. Um, it looks at how we make decisions about, um, about right behaviour and wrong behaviour, and um, different points of view on how we do that. You get to explore your own ways of making decisions, find out a bit about yourself, um, and then apply that to different situations such as medical ethics, euthanasia, and business ethics for those of you who might be looking at going into business in the future. Um, so it's a really important aspect of this business. How do we do business ethically? Then also sexual ethics, so looking at topics such as um, extramarital sex or homosexuality. We'll explore those topics and look at them in different ways. But also watch your conscience um, and what are different views on that. Freud, for example, um, what did he say about our conscience? Um, so we have, a, we have a look at a lot of different subjects in ethics. Um, and you will be uh, examined on that at the end. So the third paper that we look at is the development in one religion. And here at SFX, we give you the choice between Christianity or Hinduism. So you'll either be looking at a development in Christianity and Christian thought, which would tie in nicely with the philosophy. You've already looked at Christian philosophers in philosophy and in ethics, so it follows on from that. But if you wanted to look at something different, maybe you haven't um, looked at any Hinduism before or any Indian philosophy, um, then we give you the choice chance to explore that right from the very beginnings in ancient India through the stories of the Ramayana and the Mahabharata, all the colourful gods such as Ganesh. Um, you'll find out about those stories and, um, and how they developed and how they relate to modern day Hinduism. And currently on the Hinduism course, we're now up to looking at modern day Hinduism, Gandhi and how um, Gandhi's teachings and various other people around that time have impacted on the political situation as it is today in India, which is still very colourful um, and very eventful. So one, we're finding that every day we've got news stories that we're coming in from India and we're looking at those in class currently. So it's a really varied um, third paper, whether you're doing Christianity or Hinduism, and that's your choice. You can choose which one to do. In summary, if you're interested in people, if you're interested in finding out about other people's views um, and having good debates with your, your classmates, um, if you're interested in exploring your own worldviews and challenging yourself, then RSA level is for you. And we look forward to seeing you in class. 
I enjoy studying RS because it allows you to make your own judgment about other people's judgments of that belief and also you, it highlights the way people interpret like every aspect of life through their religion. The lessons involve like learning about like past philosophers, present philosophers and ones that would be relevant in the future and it also um, involves like lots of debates, writing on the board, it's a very interactive lesson although it is more history more than like based around religion.